car rant for you. I don't know if you uh, work out and you're able to eat like a ton of food because you burn off a lot of calories in the gym, but when people say to you, oh, you're so lucky you can eat that. I get that a lot from old people who have given up or have never really learned how to work out in the first place, and they seem to put on weight so easily, probably eating donuts and shit. And then they see you eating like a plate of pasta with maybe some chicken. And they're just like, you're so lucky you get to eat that big plate of pasta with some chicken and broccoli. And it's delicious. It's pasta with marinara sauce, some nice seasoned broccoli, some nice seasoned chicken. And they're like, oh man, maybe some bread on the side. <clears throat> and maybe that's the biggest meal that you've eaten that day. And they're just like, you're so lucky. Oh man, I'm fired up right now. <sighs> and, uh... I think to myself, oh, I'm lucky because for an hour and a half this morning, I got up and I huffed and I puffed and I sweated and I put in effort to myself and I supersetted five sets of bench presses with five sets of pull-ups and went until I couldn't do any more reps anymore. My muscles aching and burning. And then I went on to dumbbell rows and pullovers and high incline presses and reared out lateral raises and then 10 minutes of you know, rope tucks for my abdominals and then hanging knee, up, knee ups and maybe even went on the bike for five to 10 minutes. In addition to all of that, it was like an hour 15 of nonstop heart pumping action, blood flowing through my body, circulatory system stimulating. And then later on, I eat a plate of pasta and oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. I get to eat that pasta because I'm just different than, the, than that person who got up this morning and was like, oh, I have to go to work today. I'm gonna eat a donut. Um, I'm just gonna watch my show for an hour. And then I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna tell Troy he's so lucky that he gets to eat pasta. Shut the fuck up.